you've got people branded who have this sickness and they have to walk on the opposite sides of the street with healthy people and you know they're really treated like you know less than second class citizens um, so when enough people start dying and disappearing uh, a, a group of a, a resistance forms an underground resistance forms I just really fell in love with the part and met with Kurt and talked about it, told him how much I loved it, told him how committed I would be. And, and uh, later on, I, I, I heard that he actually wrote the script for me, which was really flattering and uh, exciting. So uh, it was like, you know, shook hands and said, all right, see you in Shanghai. I actually started training for this movie um, in May of last year. So it's been over a year now that I've been <laughs> preparing to play this part. Um, which is pretty cool. I've never done that. Um, I've never had such a long stretch of preparation time. The outfits, uh, because they're so important to Violet's character, the whole look of the film and, and um, to set the environment, uh, you know, it was really tricky, like figuring out what I was gonna wear. We didn't wanna make it obviously like unbelievable either. Um, in a matrix sort of way, like, like, you know, how does Violet get into these clothes? So, you know, we tried in a sense to, to follow some sort of pop culture style, you know, so this would be the kind of outfit that probably today, if I was like a pop star, I would go on stage and like do my little dance routine in it, you know, but Violet is just so cool that she can wear it every day. And physically, I've, I've never been in, this kind of shape before. I've never been as fluid in my life. I've always thought of myself as a big clumsy oaf. So it's amazing for me to learn from these girls and be able to flip the swords like I flip them and to be able to do these moves because I'm watching them and trying to pretty much copy them in a sense. But I want to look like them because they're so good.